Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my humble space studio in such a... We got a new friend today. How's it going, friend? I don't even know what this guy does. I, I was really trying to tape him right now. I'm going to be honest. I can't seem to tape him. There you go. He seems to like it. The, yeah, we're just giving you a new look. <laughs> Can you see still? <laughs> Look at his little eye. You know what? I thought we should give the uh, the new robot a little bit of personality. Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. <gasps> He's looking at the picture. That's kind of adorable. Hey, buddy. I just I just want to do this. There you go. A little a little bit of a happy face. There, you look so much better now. I seem to have bought. Oh God, it's broken. Um, this is the stencil package. I believe. Is it? Are these just okay these are just big shape stencils but now we got the fancy stencils over here i bought a lot of stencils today hopefully we can make good use of them oh my god i bought more stencils i don't even remember buying three different sets of them okay that wasn't too bad there this whole room is essentially stencils now though all right let's actually you know do some painting today that's kind of the point here um yeah i don't even know what i'm going to do today i'm just i just kind of came into it We'll see if we can find something maybe important. Oh, she gave me a, an app for PetBot? PetBot has an app? Do I receive it? Oh, wait, maybe it's on my computer. Oh, it is, you dummy. Okay, so I can upgrade the PetBot. I am so into this. Crypto mining drivers. It mines credits over time. You know what? I think that's a good investment. We'll do that. We can also have item disposal and surface cleaning installed into them. Honestly, I kind of love how messy this place is. Um, so we're not going to do those because I don't know what he'll consider garbage. Yeah, like I have used paint tubes everywhere, but I kind of want to keep them around. But at least he's mining now. Is, is, is that what he's doing right now as he sleeps? Hello. Oh, no. Just start. There you go. Start, start mining, buddy. This is so stupidly insane. I love it. All right. I have no idea who this person is, but I love when I get surprise gifts. So I'm going to say sure to this one. They want uh, a landscape. Okay, a landscape I could do. Is there any size on a big canvas? Well, we already got a big one down here that... I don't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> Clearly, I was playing with the fish. So, yeah, I guess we'll just use this for the painting. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I think I want to do kind of like a forest scene. I haven't done that yet, and I've watched a lot of Bob Ross as a kid, so... I feel like I might be able to actually do it. All right, I need to buy this, too. I'm going to buy the flying tool shelf, just because... I have tools everywhere. I am I am so disorganized right now. Let's buy the, the water gun just to see what that's all about. I did enjoy the machine gun, so we'll continue with that. I'm going to buy the leaf blower just because I can. Um, I want to see if I can fill it with paint or something. I'm At this point, I'm buying everything. How much money do I have? I don't have enough for the flamethrower yet. That's okay. We'll have to wait for that. There's still a lot of things I need to buy, like the weird things that I don't really know what they're for, but I'm assuming they're pretty interesting. <laughs> Super glitter sp spray? Yeah, you know what? We'll buy that too, just to see what it's all about. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a, that's a big box. I guess this is probably my tool rack. Dude, that is dope. Can I just drag it anywhere? Okay, I think that was definitely worth it. I love it. I wish it, I wish it could follow me. That would be really cool. Okay, we got the gun, the mower. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's the glitter cannon. Oh, my God, it looks like a glitter cannon. Wait, how does this work? It's a good thing I got a crap load of paint on the ground. Is that is that glitter? Oh, it is. That's definitely glitter. Okay, so it bejazzles anything that I want. Great. And then we have the leaf blower. I don't know if I can blow this guy or not. I was hoping, can I put paint in it? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. It's it's frustrating because it said it was waterproof. That's why I thought I could possibly put paint in it. It looks like it's just a better uh, hair dryer, essentially, which I'm fine with. It's a good upgrade, I'm sure. Now, how is this different from the minigun? Is it a constant spray? Let's find out. Oh, very similar to the glitter, but obviously not glitter. I could actually probably use this right now. I actually like this more than the minigun. All right, I've been going back and forth on a background design. I think I like the uh, dark canvas, and we're just going to shoot purple. I tried white, and it was a little much, so I just want this kind of purple effect. And yeah, this is a nice spread right now. Well, now, what I think I might actually use is a spoon. Now, if I pick up some of this, let me just get used to this again. So do I just... 
Oh, it like shoots it all in one area though. I want it spread. All right, there's also this brush. I believe it's very much like the spoon. I couldn't find it. I had to rebuy it. <laughs> I'm trying to find the perfect splatter here. That's better. Okay, that's that's more spread out. It's kind of what I want. Actually, let's even try it with this color. We're going to go way back. I want it nice and spread. I don't even know if it's hitting it. Okay, no, we have to get a little bit closer. There's a certain limit here. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's take this off. So now we have kind of this nighttime effect. I'm going for a nighttime painting here. And I think I'm going to try and design some shadow trees. Um, I don't know if it'll go well or not, but I do have a fan brush and I do know... Well, at least Bob Ross has told me that's how you make trees. So we'll see how we can do. I don't know if I should go full black or if I should have like a shade of dark green. I guess we'll start with black. Actually, we need to do the trunks first. So I'm just going to put a couple trunks going up. And oh, yeah, that's wet. I just realized because there's a little bit of white in there. Oh, that might just be the shine. But just in case, I don't want to smudge the back. So let's just dry this off. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to do a couple different size trees here. Nothing too crazy. Just see what we can kind of make out of this. Fortunately, this fan brush in this game is extremely small. So we'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah, this is going to take forever. Um, I do have that feather brush. That might work as well. Let's just try this for one tree and see how it comes out. Again, it doesn't need to be too detailed because, well, we're not really focused on detail right now. But I do want it to look like a tree, obviously. So yeah, something like that. Again, it doesn't need to be too crazy detailed, but these are going to be evergreens. Angle it a bit. Actually, you don't want them all straight. There we go. I mean, in, in the dark... It kind of looks like that, right? It actually looks pretty good. I think I need to add a little bit of texture to the actual trees, though. Maybe shading them ever so lightly green. Just because right now they're very hard to see. But it's kind of the effect I'm I'm going for. I want to focus on the stars, if you will. Oh, look at that. 39 people visited my gallery today. They must actually like it. Um, I'm actually getting some traction there. Now, let's see how bad... Okay, this actually is a good color once we... Add some detail here. Now, I'm going to focus the light on one side of the tree. So, the other side... I don't know. Which one did I choose? I don't even know. This is the darker one, obviously. If I do that on this, is that... That's about the same. Oh, well. Okay, there we go. Something like that. I mean, that looks pretty damn cool to me, if I do say so myself. All right, screw it. Let's try and do a moon. We, we got these stencils. We may as well use them, right? This could ruin the whole painting, but hey, it's a video game. It doesn't matter. Experimentation is key. Obviously, I'll add some texture into this later, but we need a good starter here. All right, let's try some shading here. We're going to go to fat. How fat is fat? I don't know. We'll just see. Oh, wow. I'm actually shading. I'm, I'm doing... Ah, oh, control Z. Control Z, undo. All right, well, that's fine. We can always redo this if we want. I Okay, yeah, I've ruined the shading now. All right, so we'll repaint that. <laughs> just want just a just a little detail here we don't want to go crazy some oh, perfect per i think that's perfect now obviously the moon has lots of craters on it i don't know how i'm gonna do that but i want to get some sort of crater effect all right we got some gray here i'm trying to reuse some of this crap um i think this might actually be okay for doing like a crater effect as long as i don't miss obviously but yeah if we oh damn it we just go like that I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if I miss or not. It's just part of the painting now. We might have to hide some of that. But that actually, I think, should be it. Let's not go too crazy. That's a freaking moon, man. Yeah, we did do a little mistake there. But hey, we can easily hide that. Let's dry it real quick. And then, yeah, we'll fix these mistakes by, I guess, just putting more paint on top of them. Let's use this thing again. Let's see if we can at least just hide it. Oh, God. Yeah, that's too close. All right, well... That should be doable. We just got to get some other colors on top of that to not make it look so blue. Damn it. Now the moon's got paint on it. All right. You know what? I'm ruining it. I just want to do one more just to get rid of. Okay. Yeah. You know what? We should have just left it. It would look way better the way we had it before. Now do I fix the moon or not? God damn it. Wait, I did dry it before I splattered. So if I get a sponge, I wonder if I can just wipe it off. This could end very badly though. Please don't ruin everything. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of ru ruining the moon too because I forgot that that's part of it. 
You know what? I kind of dig the effect that it's doing. It's like distorting it. Let's stop before I, I ruin it though. That, I mean, you can tell that that's a moon. I am very happy with this painting. I'm just going to use some of this green with the feather brush and just add some like detail at least. So it's not just a pure black canvas. Kind of makes it look a lot more realistic when the ground isn't so perfectly flat either. We kind of got these bushes now, if you will. Yeah, that looks really freaking good. <laughs> I'm actually blown away. Okay, I'm so glad I did that because it just kind of finished up the canvas for me. All right, we'll send it in. Why is my thing acting all weird? Probably because I got a crap load of paint on it. Who knows? But yeah, send that. Uh, we'll definitely add that to the gallery soon here too. I just want to see what I get here. Oh, it's coming on the big build. Okay, maybe it'll actually be something good. Last time I think we got a musical box. It's just way more fun getting gifts instead of just money. So yeah. Didn't expect that. All right, cool. Hey, robot, meet other robot. This is... You know what? I feel like this was worth it, you know? I don't know what I could possibly use this for, but who doesn't want an RC car, you know? Oh, another one with gifts. Okay, Cameron. Um, Something cute. I don't know what the frick is. What's cute? It's our... You know what? They wanted cute, and God damn it, that's cute to me. A great low-effort painting for Cameron. Goodbye. <laughs> I love that there's, like, nothing I need to do on these. So I spent an hour on the last canvas, and I spent two seconds on that one. But hey, I'm a famous artist, and people will pay money and love my things anyways. Oh, it's another big gift. I'm enjoying these big gifts, at least. Uh, by the way, I tried painting the RC car. Uh, it doesn't work, unfortunately, so I don't think I can really use this to paint with. Unless I get really crafty, I guess. Holy Jesus, this is big. Oh. Oh. Oh, this, these are really strong balloons. Uh, okay. I wonder if I can... Oh, no! I can! I mean, I'm glad I can, but now I, I lost one of my balloons. And I don't think I can buy any. All right, let's do this one. Um, They want a small canvas, something bold. All right, I'm just going to use the, the glitter gun. I mean, this is a good start, right? This feels bold to me. All right, then we're going to... Yellow up our fish. Oh, okay. I accidentally greened them. We're gonna do that. Why? Because because we can. All right. The star doesn't really fit, but I kind of like that about it. We'll see what it looks like. I don't know. Gonna be honest with this one. This is definitely a rush job, but hey, some of them gotta be. And oh, that wasn't even the right paint. What the hell? I don't remember. Isn't that the chrome? I guess it doesn't work with the glitter. Unless this is this isn't the chrome. I don't know. Let's just keep hitting it with stuff. There we go. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> so yeah, that stuff just makes the metal melt. And because the glitter was metal, I think that's kind of what happened there. I don't hate it. It's it's definitely not great. But I just want my surprise gifts, damn it. So we'll we'll send that in. Let's find out what this one is. Okay. What the hell does this table do? Is it just Whoa! It's not a table at all! <laughs> oh, God! This is so stupid. I love it. Oh, my God. Who thinks of these things? You know what? This is why I keep doing the ones where I get items. Because don't get me wrong, the money's great. But now that I have my museum, I slowly earn money anyways. I don't even need it. So I'm just all about getting gifts at this point. Well, you know me. They want fear and gothic style, and they'll give me something else in exchange. I don't know what that means. It doesn't even sound that appetizing, but I just want to know what something else is. All right, we're just going to get rid of some of this paint, do a dark backdrop of some sort. Maybe I shouldn't have been cheap and just bought paint. That probably would have been smart, but at this point, I've gone too far. Do I have any more dark paints just lying around? Ah, oh, yeah, floor paint. It's always the best. Okay, this is like the weirdest color scheme ever. It might it might look cool though. Who knows, you know? Just kind of blend everything in together. Oh, you know what? I don't think of this sooner. It's, it's been a while since we last used this. We'll just, we'll just darken everything, you know? All right, we'll go back to one of my favorite methods. Exploding paint cans. There we... Oh, dude, that was so worth it. That's exactly what I wanted. Look, I have my stencil on the ground, and it's got this cool effect now. Anyways, I'm gonna try and do, like, a skeleton. All right, so we'll just use this. I mean, we have these things. We may as well utilize them. That looks damn good. Now to ruin it, because I've never done a skeleton in my life. Let's just go for... <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> this head's gonna look so much better than his body. This is easily the worst skeleton I've ever seen. I'm actually embarrassed right now. But you know what? I just wanted to use spray paint. Why, why don't I put a duck foot on this side? Oh my god. <laughs> Can't forget the hands, you know? We have to keep this realistic looking. There we go. <laughs> it was so good until I did the body. Oh god, get it out of here. I don't want to think about this anymore. <laughs> just give me my present. Not as big of a package this time, but... Uh... A good one, I guess? What do you do? do you, are you just there for visual? I feel like his legs pop off, but they clearly don't. Hold on, buddy. Let's just see. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. Can I paint with you? <laughs> no, the globs are just kind of hanging out. I mean, I guess I kind of can. <laughs> it's definitely not supposed to be used as a painting tool, though. We'll just keep him over here with my collection of junk. All right, you know what? We have to upgrade the museum. Uh, I am making a lot of money just by the museum, of course, so... I guess we'll put our new works of art in. Oh, dude, I forgot there was things I can buy in here. Oh, yes. Well, before that, let's just get our new paintings. You know what? I don't hate the weird star. I don't know if we'll add it to the thing. We gotta add this stupid frigging thing. We also have a new painting over here. The one I'm actually happy about. Very hard to see now that we're in a darker area, but I'm happy with this. I actually tried. Will this one fit here? No, we're gonna have to go over to this wall, I think. That's fine. We can obviously add something over there if we want to. I might even add the skeleton there. Actually, the skeleton's the same size, so we're gonna have to add... Is this really gonna be a showpiece? Oh, God. Well, for now, we'll add it there. Um, I think that's all I'm really comfortable adding to this. This one I didn't even want to add, but I know you guys would get mad. All right, let's also buy... I don't know what the moderator's hand is, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy that just to see what it... Can I shoot people? Oh! Why? All right, you guys better not say anything bad about these paintings. So this is art? Excuse me? The hell did you just say? You know what? That's what I think of you. Okay, yeah, this was definitely wor worth the purchase. All right, guys, but on that, we're gonna wrap up another episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed doing some more art in my crazy studio. Honestly, I don't know if we'll be doing any more of this. Maybe one or two. Um, we still have a bunch of things we need to buy, and I believe the game's still being updated, so I might take a little break, wait for an update or two. But yeah, if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below, and we'll definitely do some more. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.